happy morning student here we shall discuss the next point of the same chapter optics optics is the term used in science for the study of light therefore in whole chapter we have to study the light and its property now first see reflection then what is reflection reflection is the latin word and its meaning is bending back in the same medium you know when light is incident on the plane reflecting surface such as mirror or polished surface then what happen it bounces off barabar it bounces off that surface at the same angle if this is the angle of incidence this is the angle of reflection that's medium madhe ray kay hot asto bounce hot asto and that is the definition of reflection okay then reflection from plane surface if we take one object an object is placed in front of the plane reflecting surface then what happen its image are sorry its image is produced that image may be the virtual inverted okay and it is on the other side okay and the size of the object and size of the image are the same again it is at the same distance that of the object object cha mirror pasna kiti distance ahe tevdhach image cha mirror pasun sudha asnar ahe therefore that distance is same if you are standing on the bank of a still water tank then what happen image is produced no doubt your image is produced that image is again the reverse image okay and on the other side okay similarly if you take the two plane reflecting surface suppose this is the one mirror plane reflecting surface example mirror and this is the other reflecting mirror and object is placed in between them then what number what happen number of images are produced due to the multiple reflection of the both the mirrors for example kaleidoscope kaleidoscope mele tumhi pahila asel ki don jar tumhi mirrors gitle ani object is placed in between them then what happen the number of images are produced number of images are formed due to the multiple reflections of both the mirrors okay if small n is the number of images form then it can be calculated by using this formula n is equal to the 360 degree upon theta 360 upon theta where theta is the angle between the mirror and the object exact position of the object where theta is the angle between mirror and the exact position of the object and that is the angle theta and therefore number of the images what is this n is equal to the number of images form okay and capital n is equal to the number of images number of images seen number of images seen there is difference between the small n and capital n this is the small n means it is the theoretical value and capital n means it is the practical value mantla tari chalel no doubt okay and there is one table given 
in your book okay in that table there is a value of theta if the theta changes ke lela hai okay then what is the value of n then what is the value of capital n and what is the position of the object for example if n is an even integer if small n is first upon luck case lakshat ghuya if small n is an even integer even integer then what is the capital n capital n is equal to the n minus 1 if small n is equal to the even integer hi value ali calculation karun tar capital n chi value kiti asnar ahe n is equal to the n minus 1 where the object is anywhere object mukti kuthe asu dya then you get the value of n is equal to the n minus 1 therefore in your book there is one table in first column there is a value of theta in second column there is a value of n okay in third column there is a value of capital n and last there is a position of the object okay let us calculate one example related to this formula a yes, see this let us calculate one example related to this formula see this a small object is kept between kept symmetrically between the two plane mirrors inclined at 38 degree small object hi don mirror cha madhe barbar hi thevlele ahe okay then this angle is increased to 41 degree pahilanda angle kiti hota 38 degree hota nantar to 41 degree kelela ahe okay then determine the number of images visible during the process angle change kelela ahe tyachamule number of images ja ka aplyala visible hosnar ahe te sudha kay hunar ahe vegle asnar ahe doni case madhe for the angle is 38 degree and for the angle is 41 degree okay then in solution see this how to solve this problem then first for the angle 38 degree okay what is the value of n n is equal to the 360 upon value theta it is the formula okay therefore 360 upon theta first theta is 38 degree okay therefore 360 upon 38 degree if you solve it it becomes 9.47 9.47 means we get here n is equal to the 9.47 okay the number of images tumhala kiti disnar ahe when the angle is 38 degree then you get capital n is equal to the number of images that are seen which is equal to the n is equal to the 9 no. this is correct this is visible up to the only the 40 degree okay karan 360 upon 40 matlyanantar sudha kay yanar ahe parat 9 ch yanar ahe okay ani mag above 40 degree if the angle changes above 40 degree value of n should be the different okay let us calculate it therefore if n is equal to the sorry n is equal to the 360 upon theta theta is now 41 degree 41 degree therefore n is equal to the i think it is 8.78 it is 8.78 and in that case what is the n n is equal to the 8 n is equal to the 8 okay hence onwards there will be the 8 images till 41 degree जे इफ द व्हेन द एंगल इज 41 डिग्री द इमेजेस विल बी द 8 एंड इफ द एंगल इज 38 डिग्री इमेजेस विल बी द 9 इन दिस वे यू कैन सॉल्व द प्रॉब्लम्स रिलेटेड टू द रिफ्लेक्शन फ्रॉम ए प्लेन सरफेस नाउ रिफ्रॅक्शन What is refraction? 
you know as the light is electromagnetic waves the properties of light depends upon the medium through which it travel it depends upon the medium through which it travel light like, jake properties are hai it may be the uh, velocity it may be the wavelength frequency all these properties depends upon the medium okay then what is the refraction you know that refractions means if this is the refracting surface for example glass okay this is normal to the refracting surface this is the incident light okay light is incident on the refracting surface for example glass then when the light travels from air medium to the denser medium then it bends towards the normal then it bends towards the normal okay म्हणजे लाईटने त्याचं पात काय केलेलं आहे चेंज केलेलं आहे सडनली इट्स व्हेलॉसिटी चेंजेस इट्स वेवलेन्थ चेंजेस ओके व्हेलॉसिटी ऑफ द लाईट ऑफकोर्स वेन इट ट्रॅव्हल फ्रॉम रेअर मिडियम टू द डेन्सर मिडियम व्हेलॉसिटी ऑफकोर्स डिक्रीजेस ओके ॲज द व्हेलॉसिटी डिक्रीजेस वेवलेन्थ ऑल्सो डिक्रीजेस बट द फ्रिक्वेन्सी ऑफ लाईट रेडिएशन रिमेन्स कॉन्स्टंट वेन इट travel from the rare medium to the denser medium okay and when if this is the apan it consider kele to this is the rare medium rare medium means the particles are more separated and this is the denser medium means particle are closely compact okay that medium is called as a denser medium and if we consider this is the denser medium okay and this is the rare medium and when the light travels from denser to rare medium it is bends away from the normal ya patati this is angle of incident no doubt this is angle of refractions this difference is very important okay when the light rays travel from rare to denser medium it bends towards the normal okay and when the light travels from denser to rare medium it bends away from the normal and this is the phenomena of refraction okay there are the number of examples of a refractions okay in daily life also okay then this refraction phenomena depends upon of course the medium of a light ki ja medium madhun light ha pass hotoy kunta medium madhun light pass hote ta medium var sudha refractions ka asnare depend asnar ahe let us see absolute refractive index what do you mean by the absolute absolute refractive refractive index absolute refractive index means it is denoted by letter n refractive index that is symbol ka vapraycha apan letter n and this n is defined as it is the ratio of velocity of light in vacuum it is denoted by letter c to the velocity of light in any medium that is v therefore absolute refractive index is equal to the n is equal to the c upon v n is equal to the c upon v where c is the velocity of light in vacuum and v is the velocity of light in any medium and n is always greater than 1 n is always greater than 1 because the velocity of light in vacuum is greater than that of the another medium because velocity of light in vacuum is 3 into 10 raise to 8 meter per second and v of course ka asnare 3 into 10 raise to 8 peksha kamis asnar ahe therefore n is always greater than the 
and when n is greater than 1 that medium is optically denser medium optically denser medium it is important one this is the one of the characteristics of denser medium ki denser medium what is the denser medium ki in denser medium refractive index has a large value Denser medium means in that denser medium refractive index has a large value and n is smaller than 1 it is optically is optically rare medium optically rare medium this is the definition of rare medium Ki in rare medium the refractive index has a small value. Therefore, in this lecture we will see reflection, reflection from a plane surface, okay. Number of the images form, formula for that n is equal to the 360 upon theta, okay. Then refraction, then absolute refractive index n is equal to the c upon v, n is always greater than 1, when n is always greater than 1, it is optically denser medium, therefore in denser medium, value of n is large, n means refractive index has a large value and in rare medium, refractive index has a smaller value, okay. And next definition is relative refractive index, relative, relative, refractive refractive index okay relative refractive index is defined as in this way first it is denoted in this way refractive index of second medium with respect to the first medium okay this is the symbolic representation of relative refractive index later ni ya later ni thi dili jate then what is the relative refractive index it is the ratio of velocity of light in one medium say it is v1 to the velocity of light in second medium it is called as the refractive index of second medium with respect to the first medium which is equal to the n2 upon n1 which is equal to the v1 upon v2 and this is the formula for relative refractive index. There is difference between absolute refractive index and relative refractive index. In absolute refractive index it is the ratio of velocity of light in vacuum to the velocity of light in any other medium. In this case, here is the relative refractive index means it is the ratio of velocity of light in medium 1, that medium may be the air medium, diamond medium, to the velocity of light in second medium and which is equal to the n2 upon n1 and it is related, it is given by this equation refractive index of second medium with respect to first medium is equal to the n2 upon n1 is equal to the v1 upon v2. This is the important formula, okay? Let us stop here.